Hello and welcome to another First Impressions video brought to you by MMO Play. Today we're taking a look at an upcoming free-to-play World War II airplane shoot 'em up I'm Trying to figure out how to describe the game. It is a free-to-play shooter, but from the perspective of a World War II airplanes. Some of them are fighters, and then there's other kinds of planes too. But for now, all I have access to is fighters, and I'm going to stick with that. You can see the research tree here. You can unlock new planes on research. There's also, it is a free-to-play game, so there are microtransactions. You can kind of accelerate your progression just a touch if you want. You can go over here and check out some of the different options. I'm just going to go look a little bit more at my hangar. You can see some of the planes you have access to in the beginning. There's a lot of customization you can do to the plane eventually, but right off the bat, not too much. Basically, choose from four different planes. They all are fairly similar, but some will have a few more hit points, some have a little more mobility, some do more damage. But they're all fairly similar at this point. Let's go and look at a game itself, though. This is going to be a training game with just me and a bot versus two bots. You can Good see the, all the controls here. There is a tutorial. It's going to have some audio in the background, some audio cues telling us some basics. There is a countdown time when you come in, and then the game starts. It uses sort of WASD movement. W will be a engine boost, which you only have limited amounts of. After a while, your engine has to the engine cool has off for a while. Like right now, I can see my engine boost. overheated, and I can't boost for a bit. You can hit S to kind of brake and slow down just a touch, and then dub, or A and D would also help you make a little bit sharper turns. Also, it's going to be mouse control for the camera, and most likely joystick control, but I didn't have a joystick to try the game with. What would be an airplane game without a joystick? Aiming in this game, it takes some getting used to. It's, you don't turn as fast as you think you should in the game. It uses a lot more of a realistic physics engine where it's a little harder to actually maneuver. Stop and also, Speed you can see here right now, if you make kind of dumb choices with maneuvers, you can stall your plane out. You can also slow down if you pull up too high to the point where you can't maintain your speed anymore and you'll start landing too. And by landing, I mean landing into the ground. Cannot activate boost. You have left click to shoot. Right click isn't actually aim, it just changes your camera angle a little bit. It is pretty hard to turn, at least in this plane. This mobility is maybe just a little bit low on this guy. But for the most part, you try to get him to the little cross here. Turn a little sharper. Turn. Your guns also do have a heating mechanism too, so they can overheat and just let them cool down, just like the, the engine boost. Oop, I actually hit him once. I actually hit the bot once. Oh, twice. Three times. Oh, wait. Am I being hit behind? Maybe my ally is trying to hit him too, and the he's just hitting me. Is overheated. Cannot activate boost. So, one option, of course, is to go up nice and hot. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, stop, stop shooting. Walking. Speed up. Is to go up kind of high and then do a dive maneuver later to catch, get some extra speed. That's what I was going for until I was getting lit up. First enemy destroyed. And my ally just killed them both, or they collided midair. Let's go and look at a player versus player map, because I'm ready for that. The first thing to keep in mind is there is a queue system, and each type of plane has certain number of slots in the matches and right now by far the most common type is going to be the fighters so if you have access to other planes and you want to get a little faster there's a little trick for that this is the beginning of the game you can see for the interface my teammates top left enemies top right got some chat got screen or uh, got a mini map on the bottom right there's objectives that to fight over and or kill each other if you happen to die, you can just come back, respawn, wait through the queue as another plane. Death is not completely permanent. Your plane will come back to you eventually. Last time I played this game was like a couple of months ago when I destroyed uh, two or three of my planes and they were all back in the hangar waiting for me when I came back to play. So I'm just kind of flying around right now. Looks a little... Almost pro harbor ish I guess. Definitely Hawaiian naval base, kind of. But not looking for the bases, necessarily. I'm a fighter plane. I'm not a bomber. I can't just destroy these big old carriers and destroyers and 
My job is to find big planes and shoot them down. So I'm going to go with that strategy again of getting some air up, fr up front, get, some, get up high, and that way I can dive and get some speed later. When you get close to an enemy on the minimap, you will see a red track. Oh, oh, whoa. All right, time to do a little dog fighting. I'm not going to just lay on the click because I don't want... Oh, 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 I'm, I'm kamikaze -ing. Well, I killed them. They will remember me. So when you die, you have two options. You can go into ob observer mode. You can watch all the other planes. Here's some different kinds of planes. I'm going to go through them. Or you can leave the match and then rejoin the queue as a different plane. Again, you don't have access to the one that just died for a little while. So I'm going to let's pick a different plane for a bit. Watching these guys go. You can left click or right click to cycle through them. Got some dog fighting here with a little bit better uh, players. So, for the most part, it looks like every plane has the issues with turning radius. Obviously, you're not going to turn on a dime, so it uses a lot more realistic than physics engine. A lot of games you think, hey, I can maybe uh, space simulators. You can can turn the mouse and you're suddenly changed angles. This one takes a little bit of time, so it's a little harder to get a good shot off in somebody. Oh, oh, he's not quite able. Oh, he pulled out of the turn. Now he's going back into a different angle. And he's being shot at, too. So let's go ahead and leave this and go back to the hangar and show pretty much how to rejoin a game. When you're ready to leave, just hit go exit the hangar and head back. You can go in here, do all your modifications you want. You can see my one plane is currently gone for a while. Probably because it's in the ocean because I just decided to go crash land. And then you rejoin the queue. You can see right here the numbers of people that are allowed in each map. And that's pretty much the basics. It is a pretty realistic and fun game. Not something I'm personally all that good at because I shooters and three dimensional and a realistic physics engine. Oh, I'm just hose all around. But interesting looking game, nice looking graphics, fun, good sounds. Check it out; it's available for free. Coming up soon, called World of Warplanes. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to more for MMO play. Research the no, can't research. See you guys next time. Bye.